Hi guys, this is Kenya. Welcome back to Kenya's Decor Corner. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you're my faithful family member, thank you so much for stopping back by. And guys, today we are putting up another Christmas tree. This time, this one is between the living room and the dining room. And as you can see, this is my tree that I did decorate last year in our family room in the teal and gold colors. And I wrapped it in the cellophane. And so I just pulled it out and this is how it looks. So I am going to remove all of the teal ornaments because those are not my colors, especially not downstairs this year. I'm doing silver and gold. And so I will remove all of the teal ornaments and leave the gold items there so then I can fill it in with some new ones like this. So this is how the tree looks with just the gold ornaments that was already there along with the gold ribbon that was there. Just I just removed all of the teal colors. So the tree looks a bit disheveled as you can see. So of course I'm gonna go in and fluff it up a bit more and then I'll add in more gold and silver ornaments and just get it looking fabulous. <laughs> so this is one of my King of Christmas trees. This one is a seven and a half foot flock tree. It is an unlit tree. So I did add lights to this last year. And these are the ornaments and the ribbons that I'll be using to add to this tree as well to decorate it in this color scheme that will coordinate with what I'm doing in the living room. So I picked up these ribbons and these beads uh, last season. Everything that you see here are ornaments that I already have. I didn't go out and purchase anything for this tree. I just pulled out the specific colors that I wanted. Um, and then I'm gonna just add them in here and there. Now I will say I have some of these ornaments that I've had for a very, very long time. And some like these I purchased last year after Christmas season. So that's why they still have the tags on it, um, but they're not new. I just haven't used them yet. So alrighty, let's get ready to start decorating this tree and see how it comes together. And here's a look at the tree all decorated together. And you guys know how I like to do. After I decorate, then I like to stand back, look at it, maybe leave it for a little while and then come back to it and decide if I wanna add a bit more here or there. And that's kind of where I am at this point. I think it looks complete. I'm really happy with how it looks, but you know, I might go back in and add a few more touches, but this is the completed look so far. Now let's move our attention to the fireplace and this is how it looks from the fall. I did move the two chairs there in front of the fireplace. I'll see if I'm gonna leave it there or not. But this is how it looks. So I'm going to remove those, um, the two tall vases and get to decorating the fireplace mantle now. And I'm gonna be using these items I have that large deer that I picked up from Home Goods at the end of the season last year on clearance. And he's so super cute. And then I have some other items that I grabbed from my stash. I have this Joy to the World sign that I got from Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. Those ornaments, those gold and copper color and white ornaments, I created that with Addison a couple of years ago. Um, it's like a ornament garland. And then I have a few picks that I picked up from Ross and a couple of reindeers back here and a Noel sign. So let's get to decorating. And here's how the fireplace came together. I did pick up those finial ornament things from Walmart. Um, I didn't show those to you guys when I was showing all the items that I'd be using because I thought I was gonna use them outside at first, but I have them there. And also my little reindeer here on the fireplace mantle is adorable. It looks like he's checking out the Christmas tree. So I thought that was really, really cute. I am thinking about adding some kind of um, a bow or something around his neck just to jazz him up a little bit more. But for now, I'm gonna leave it simple and I'll see 
a little bit later if I decide to add anything more to him. But I thought it was so sweet just right there like that. So, yep, yeah, I'm really happy with how it looks. I also decided to add a cone tree back there by the vase. I may add some greenery or something to the vase, but again, I'm not sure if I want to add anything or not because the tree is saying a lot and then there's a lot going on on the mantle. So I'm not sure if I'll add more, um, but I think this is really pretty and I like how it looks just behind the chairs there. So that is a view of the fireplace along with the tree there next to it. So now I'll take you guys back for an up close view of the Christmas tree and everything and, and then just another overall look at the tree and the fireplace with music. And if you have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comment section down below. Also, if you're interested in purchasing a King of Christmas Christmas tree, I will have all the details linked in my description box down below. And you guys know it's Black Friday, so there's lots of deals and sales going on. So this is the perfect time to purchase you a beautiful Christmas tree. Okay guys, so I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If so, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. You know that helps me out tremendously. Also, it helps me leave comments. So be sure to leave me a comment down below to let me know what you think about my Christmas tree and my fireplace mantle. And then also, did you guys see the sneak peek of the bookcase and the other Christmas tree in the living room? Leave me a comment down below if you did. Put a little star there so I'll know that you saw both because I will be sharing next our um, living room decorate with me because I need to decorate the sofa and the coffee table and some lanterns. So, and then also I have some 
footage of me decorating in our entryway that I need to share with you guys. So there's lots of content coming your way. So make sure that you have your notification bells clicked so that you won't miss any upcoming videos. Now, if you are new here, welcome again. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope that you will go ahead and click the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the notification bell so you will not miss any upcoming videos. For my faithful family members, you guys know I love you, love you, love you so, so, so very much. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the next video. Much love and many blessings. Bye-bye.